Okay, so we have this question that says engineers want to design seats in commercial aircraft so that they're wide enough to fit 90% of the males. So in other words, we want to be sure we can get up to 90%. And it says men have hip breadth breadths that are normally distributed with a mean of 14.3 inches. So that's my mean and my standard deviation my standard deviation of 1.2 inches. So it says find P90, the 90th percentile. So basically what I'm doing is I want to know what value of X would cut off this top 90%. So what I, what I want to do is I want to use my Z equals X minus the mean over the standard deviation formula but I'm going to be actually solving for X. So I have the mean 14.3. I have the standard deviation 1.2, but I don't have Z, but I can find it because I know that within this table are probabilities, which are percentages. And if I'm looking for 90%, what I do is I put this in four digits because that's the way my table is. I come over here and I find the value that is closest to 0 0.9000. Now you may not find the exact value, but I found the closest value. And then I read that Z score, which would be 1.28. If I could get it to write, there you go, that one. <laughs> and so now I just take it, I plug into my formula 1.28 equals X, which is what I'm solving for, 14.3 divided by 1.2. And now I just go through my, al my algebra skills. And so I probably would move the 1.2, multiply it on both sides. And I get 1.536. And then I would add 143 to both sides. I'm 143, 14.3. That's what happens when you can't write a decimal point. And I get 15.8 rounded to one decimal place. So the key is if you're not given a Z value, but you are given a percentile or a probability, you can look that up within the Z table to get your Z score.